a really short video. I wanted to show you something, a little junkyard tech, right? This is 1967 GMC. As you can see, 67 to 72 all have the exact same doors, right? Uh, same cab, more or less. Anyway, door seals. The original ones were glue-on. Giant pain in the butt, messy. And you got to use this door. You got to use that sealant and all that other stuff, and then, and then you got to hold it and tape it, and, and yuck, right? So, let me show you something. Now, there's more than one vehicle that you can do this with, so just kind of keep an eye on. It. These door seals, right? They came out of a 1993 Chevy pickup truck. That's right. 1993 Chevy pickup truck. These are just the pinch-on style. So you can just grab them and pull them off and put them on. No tools needed to put one on. Maybe a, maybe a rubber mallet to get it stuck in the corners a little better. And they sit on the pinch weld on the door sill. Right on the door sill, and these came out of a 1990. These are out of the junkyard. You can see they're still kind of dirty. I got to clean them a little better. Um, but this is a, uh, you know, what I have brand new ones up on the shelf, right up there. But from a, tr uh, a restoration company, so somebody said try this. So I'm trying it, and oh my gosh, does it fit? I mean, I could not believe it. I had to trim about six or seven inches from here because the doors are a little bit bigger but because this this inner pinch weld here right on the inside where it pinches onto the um this part here that pinches onto the door seal i'll show you hang on one sec okay so this is a cross section right this is a section i cut off one of the doors that's about how much i had to cut off right so this is this section here is the pinch it's got steel core inside the rubber right so it just snaps on and then there's this little ridge here on the inside that holds it on okay and it because it's steel in there you can bend it to fit in the corners see see and um, so when you go to put it in the corners all right and it doesn't seem to matter. I put one on one side and then put it on the other side. It didn't seem to matter. But, so, how much did these cost me? Five bucks a piece. And how long did it take me to put them on? About 15 minutes. And you're probably going to have another 15 minutes of cleaning if you want them to look good. Because, you know, the interior looks pretty nice now. I don't want dirty sills. But as, just like normal, right? There, fits, right? And you can see, I don't know how well it's lit, but it fits the, it goes through and the door seals pretty nicely against it all the way around. And this door isn't the greatest fitting in the channel, the way it was built, but it actually shuts pretty easily, just like a normal door would you with a new seal. And it's not that bad. Look at that. The other side's a little harder. I gotta have to do some work on the other side because it takes a little bit more. And I think it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom down here. And let me pull the carpet back. And that's oh my gosh, it's hard to see in there. But I think what's happening, if you flip the camera back over. <laughs> Is the seals being pushed up right here so it's not lying flat it's not going under the door so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work on this piece here and maybe get these to sit a little better see how they sit back at an angle yeah so I'll have to do a little bit of work there but what a, I mean for simple Junkyard tech, see the dust that came off on these when I first put them on, so, but, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do a little work on that one because this door is not shutting right. But I'll get it fixed. But the bottom. This is a brand new rocker uh, rocker plate, so it's a little bit. It fits a little bit different than the other one. So I'm gonna fix this. I'll fix this. And some tells me even with a new seal, I'd have the same problem. So I'm gonna have to do some work on that to make those feel a little better. So, but 10 bucks, 10 bucks. Did you like that? That's simple junkyard tech. If you like that kind of stuff, let me know. Like, subscribe, and we'll get some more of those for you. And uh, we'll keep them coming. Simple fixes. I got something for you as well. Uh, an overflow tank for the truck uh, that I found. These trucks never had an overflow tank. And if you want one for safety reasons or for drag racing, I found something else. Stay tuned.